Hi, my name is Trevor Tyson with KBandsTraining.com. Today we're going to work speed and a little bit of core strength that's going to help with your agility. We've got a super set here. First, we're going to start with the high knees, but we're going to be resisted with the K-bands here. Get them strapped on. We've got three sets, and we're going to move as fast as we can. And then we're going to move into a bit of a suspension training, core strength exercise to follow. First set here, we're going to go 10 to 12 seconds. As fast as we can, you got to be explosive. If you want to improve your speed, that's what it's all about. Ready? Go. Quicker, 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 quicker. More arms, more arms. Get him going. Push it, push it, push it. That's very good extension. He's got his knees up high. He's got good posture. That's what you need. Get your 10 to 12 seconds. Take your break. You're going one to three, one to fours on your work to rest ratios here. So you're going for about 10 seconds. Then you take about 45 seconds off, 55 seconds if you need a little bit more rest. You want to gather yourself. You're going to take deep breaths, and you want to be ready to move as explosive as you can for your second and your third set. You don't want to do these sets tired. Yes, of course, if you're a little out of shape, these are going to get you gassed, but it's very important that you catch your wind so that you can be just as explosive each and every set. All right, use the K-bands here. That's what's going to help you out. It's going to improve your hip strength, going to improve everything throughout your lower core. That's what we need to do. We've got the green bands on here. Remember, if you're more advanced, you might need the blues. Let's jump into our second set here. Ready? Go. Come on, got to be faster. Got to be faster. Got to be faster. Come on, push it. Dig, 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 dig. Quick, 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 quick. Very good. Very good. Be sure that you don't let the bands control you. If you're moving and you're not getting the full extension up, that's only going to hurt you. You don't want to ruin running form here. You want to perfect it. You want to have good L's in your arms, driving them up, and really get those knees up, right? We've got our third set here. We've got about 10 seconds more to break. We're going to jump head right into it here. Okay, take a deep breath. You ready to rock? All right, ready? Go. Come on, finish strong. Finish strong. Fast arms, driving them up, driving them up. Good. Push, push, push. Three. Good. Relax. We're moving into a bit of a, a quarter here. We're going to use the KB Duo. We need one leg in. It's going to be a dynamic movement. You're going to go up and down. It's going to be a little bit of a combination of endurance, core strength, and a lot of body control. You're going about eight reps on each leg. Let's go ahead and show you how it's done. Ready? Go ahead and get it going. Good. One leg is in. The K-bands here aren't really going to be used that much, but the nice thing about them is they sit right on your legs, not in your way, and you can continue training and jump back and forth into speed drills. Notice he gets down, he gets a good flat back. He's using his whole body to stabilize and be explosive. Have your buddy help you in and out here. We're going other leg now going to finish up this other set and then you've got your break. We're going about a minute and a half break in between this set. Ready? Go. Very good. He gets to the flat position. That's where you need to be. Make sure you're not sagging in your back. You've got to keep a strong core. Working your shoulders, working your core, working your hips, everything. Now this leg here back in the KB Duo, that's what changes the whole ball game. You've got to be stable in your hips and you got to be under control. All right. Minute and a half break here. Deep breaths. Gather yourself. Remember, as you train to be an athlete, nutrition is very important. Head to kbandstraining.com. Click around the article section. You're going to see tons of information that's going to help you out. You've got to eat the right amount of protein. You've got to have enough calories to recover. Recovery is the name of the game, and if you overdo it, all you're going to do is hurt yourself. So be sure that you're educated and you work smart. That's the best way to do it. We're going to get set up here. Let's start up. Let's finish up this superset for you all at home. Ready? Eight reps each leg, minute and a half breaks in between. Let's finish strong. Here we go. Good. The key is to explode in your chest. This is going to work your whole core all the way down to that hip flexor. Very good. Finish strong. Finish strong. Endurance, explosiveness. That's what it's all about. You want to move better laterally, you got to have a better core. You want to move better with more speed, you got to have a better core. That's what this is doing for us. Very good. Let's finish strong. Eight reps. Ready? Push it here. One, two, come on, dig it home. If you're using this, you've really got to push. Plyometric speed training is all about 100% intensity. Don't ever let anybody tell you any different. Push it here. Come on, finish strong. Good. Way to dig. Way to dig. Again, my name is Trevor Tyson with kbandstraining.com. I'm really trying to help you all gain speed. Work with uh, the articles. Learn the nutrition. Learn how to optimize your results with resistance, and you're going to see the results, I'll tell you that, okay? Keep working hard out there. We'll see you next time.